Johnny. I've got to be able to come. PM wanted me to have a word about this private notice question. I wonder whether we could set your mind at rest if you're really worried about Mazran. Well, it's just that I want a statement. If there's something to be said, it should be said. If there's nothing to say, it doesn't matter much. Well, there's something to say next week when the situation's clarified. Look here, Johnny, I I'll be frank with you. It might be embarrassing to make a statement tomorrow. Well, I think the Prime Minister should keep the House informed as he goes along. You know what you're doing. I'm trying to create the maximum trouble for the party. I'm trying to see that the party isn't bulldozed into something which will betray its principles. Like to talk it over with the PM? I'd like to. I'll see you now. I haven't congratulated you on your re-election. Thank you. Take the Foreign Secretary's seat. Now, this question. I can, of course, arrange to avoid it. You can, but that would leave the facts as they are. And on the facts, I can issue a press statement. What facts have you? That you propose to send uh, two battalions of airborne troops to help the Sheikh of Mazram destroy the Democratic Assembly. Well, where did you hear this? Do you deny that? No. Then I'd interpret the move in a different way. The Nationalist Party, which controls the Democratic Assembly, is financed from behind the Iron Curtain. There's a feeling that they were about to oust the Sheikh and establish a political link with the Communists. A feeling, is that all? Saudi Arabia would then move in to prevent the link. And anything could happen. They prefer not to leave any loose ends lying about. I think the party will accept my interpretation rather than yours. Perhaps so. Perhaps not. So, you press on with the question. I'm sorry, but I must. Where did you get your information? Nice to have seen you. Thank you for coming. How's your wife? Very well. Good. So you're going on with it? Yes. May I say something I wanted to say to her since you came to the house? You're the most unmitigated, grasping and self-important bastard I've ever met in a lifetime's politics. Good day.